I was at a funeral recently, and I made sure to sit in the back of the room. And as I was in the back of the room, I was able to see all the people walking up to the casket. And they were crying, and I could hear the man's children saying and crying, man, why did daddy have to leave so soon? There was so much left unsaid, so much left undone. I never got a chance to tell them that I love them. And I could see the grief on their face because they had to pay for the funeral. They had to get the direction themselves and figure out how they were gonna bury their father. And all they had left from him was memories. Just memories, nothing of substance, nothing substantial. And it was a void left in their life. And all I remember saying to myself was, man, this man left here full. He didn't die empty. And then I woke up. And that was my funeral. I was having a nightmare. And you know how some people say, you know, our dreams push us into our passion. Our dreams can take us into that purpose. But what pushes me is my nightmares. And it's that nightmare that I won't leave the legacy when I'm gone for my children to carry on. It's the nightmare that says I'm not dying empty because I fill up every day for one purpose, to die empty. Because no matter what, everybody that's in this room is leaving here one day. All of us, we, we can't run from it, we can't hide from it, but the question is how are we going to live? Y'all remember the babies, they smelled good. Even when they had a bowel movement, it smelled good. And we used to take their feet and put their feet in our, in our mouth and, mm, and they could do no wrong. And then what happened? They grew up. And then when they grew up, that's when the calls start coming in. The teachers are calling saying, your boy is tripping. He, your boy over there on the block with his pants halfway down. Your daughter's going through it in school. Guys trying to come out of drugs and alcohol, bullying and peer pressure. And then we expect them to live this. It's a confluence of forces coming after them to get their attention. And we expect them to still do schoolwork. And then they come home to us. And because as parents, we ain't keeping it 100. We're not being transparent with them to share our past to help make their future make it a difference. And we gotta understand that what got us here won't take us there. And what I mean by that is, the parenting that we did when they were babies, when they were coming up through elementary school, is not enough to get them through middle school, high school, college, and out the house. It's not enough. And I didn't know what I was doing. I knew that in order for me to get through that nightmare, I knew I was gonna have to stop doing some things and I was gonna have to start doing some things. So I stopped drinking. And not that I just said I was gonna stop, it's like he removed the taste from out of my mouth. I don't have a taste for it anymore. I stopped hustling, I stopped procrastinating, I stopped with the excuses, and I started walking in this thing. Now I'm gonna tell you some real talk. Like I say, you gotta let them see what you want them to be. When I changed, everything around me changed. Everybody around me changed. I walk different. I talk different. I feel good. I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. But every morning I wake up, I'm in pain from the sarcoidosis. I'm in pain every day. I refuse to take medication. So I eat right. I live right. I think right. And I push my children to do the same thing. I did not want to live that nightmare. I made a decision to do something different. So my question to you is, what is your nightmare? And what are you willing to do to change that nightmare, to change that reality? What legacy are you going to leave? Do you want your children to be great? Who wants their children to be great? You want to know how you do that? You be great. You want them to be successful? You be successful. You want them to walk in it? You walk in it. And until you do it, they're not going to do jack because they're going to use you as an excuse. I don't accept excuses from mine no more. My son right there, here tell I pledge, I pledge to give the best to me, to work hard every day, to be the best parent that I can be. I will focus and make it fun and get done what 
needs to be done. What needs to be done? Being good, good. is not acceptable for me. It's not acceptable for me. Great. 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 And amazing, amazing. is what I'm going to be. And forever be true. And, forever be true. and, those, that laugh, and those that laugh. I'm done. That's my time. Thank you so much. <laughs> so look.